my good friend. Thank you for coming. Thank you. You see, I should have been the one to visit, but circumstances have constrained me to my palace. How is your wife? She is recuperating. Please sit. I thank the gods. Hmm. Your Highness, do you or any member of your family know about the attack on my family? Because I don't want any stain in our relationship. Are you suggesting that we do? I want to assure you that no member of this family knows anything about the attack on your family. Mm -hmm. Is that why you have refused to see it? Um, someone very close. Your Highness, with due respect, do you or any member of your family know about the attack on my family? Are you suggesting that we do? Mm. Well, let me assure you that no member of this household knows anything about the attack on your family. Mm. Is that why you have refused to see it? Well, someone so close is accusing your family. But I felt I should ask you before I commence investigation. And whatever happens, I'll let you know. Very well then. Begin your investigation. I will be waiting. It's okay. Hi, darling. Mm. I had wanted to come to the palace, but you declined and asked me to meet you here. Why? Uh, you see, um, uh, you see, um, my home is in this right now. My mother is still recovering. My father still traumatized over the shootout. It's okay, I understand. And I'm sorry. I am deeply sorry. You know, I was actually going to come to see you last night, but my mother held me back. Yeah, um, very interesting. But you know, I'm wondering. Don't you think your family has like an enemy within? I mean, someone who's trying to come after you as well. No, it's a different story. August Lard is no, because that person looks after my family, must be myself. I know. You know. <laughs> if you know who this person is, why don't you get him arrested? I can't. Why? Because that person is destined to be my brother in law. Wait a minute. Afonso. I. Are you. Are you planning to get married to another woman? The person I'm talking about. You can imagine a job for coming here to threaten me. He did? He said that he will come for me if he finds out that I have a hand in the assassins that came after him. Can you imagine that? What do you think of such? Well, he said that um, 
uh, somebody told him that someone from this family sent those assassins. Your Highness, please do not be selfish. If you wear these shoes, you will probably do this. And there are better ways to make his point. Other than insult me. Is it not better you drop your ego and consider him? Those words came from a man who would have lost his entire family in the same event. I know him well. I understand him. But why can't he simply trust that I can never do anything to hurt him? Okay. Please. Okay. Use your strength. Hmm? And find out. In fact, investigate and find out who those assassins were and who sent them. Please. <sighs> Jamanzi, why did you do it? What? You know what you did. Oh. He told you I did. Did you not? confidently told you I did, he should be bold enough to tell you why I did. Hey, really? You know I've always talked about this and you always walk out on me. But you're going to give me an answer to my question today. I ask you again, why did you send your thoughts to attack the royal home on their way to my traditional marriage? As long as I live, that marriage. Jamanze, you would not walk away from me this time. You would tell me why. I, I mean, why would you do that? Oh, you think it's funny? You're laughing. You think it's funny? Jamanze, Jamanze, this has got to stop. This has got to stop. You're actually toiling with my happiness and you think it's funny. I am talking to you. You would not walk away from me. I am talking to you. You need to answer me.
Love that girl from where she is. Um. How did you know I I took the gun? This is not no part for it. Leave. Why, why do you have a gun in your room and what are you doing with the gun? Why do teachers have chalk and why do doctors have food? In other words, you're a criminal? If having a gun makes me feel free to come. I, I never believed it until now. That I'm the brain behind the attack on the royal house of light. Without any doubt, Chamansi. That must be for a good reason. Now leave my room. I need to be left alone. really disturbed. You know my brother would stop at nothing to ensure this marriage doesn't work. What do we do? Okay, so, um, why don't you tell your parents? Oh, the last time we tried that, it almost took the life of your entire family. We should think of something else. Okay. You, you said you're your brother's pet and he loves you so much, right? Yes, he does. So tell him your life is at stake. Tell him about the covenant. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Father. Who sent assassins after the royal family of our neighbor? I did. And trust me, that's the right thing to do. Oh. Finally, you have accepted. Right? You have actually accepted that you did it. Now tell me. What will Igwe Jofo do when he discovers that you are responsible for this? He will go to hell and burn to ashes, and I will personally see to that. A mafia, a dangerous one at that. Father, there is more to this world than you think. Come on, Father, you know things like this don't move me. Don't move and move, son. I know you won't. Because I am the heir to your throne. You wouldn't dare. Don't dare me. Because there is no limit to what I can do when provoked. What exactly do you want, Father? Why did you do it? 
Because I have unfinished business with Alfonso, and for that reason, he will never marry my sister. Tell me about it. I'm sorry, Father. I won't. But can I do each other for the for food and over? I and your sister have gone a long way. We're in love, and for this I've come here for a peace talk. Let's settle our differences amicably, peacefully, and let love lead. Alfonso, you are a fool. As a matter of fact, you are an idiot for saying that. I love my sister, and for that reason, I won't let her get married to a walking corpse like But of course, you have eyes to see that I'm living. And trust me, you will soon die by my bullet. Do you think if I decide to wage war with you, you'll still be alive? Yes. You know you should be dead by now. Trust me, you can't kill me, Alfonso. You do understand God gave you another chance to live. Feeling very well today, my king. But, something is troubling me. What could that be? Your encounter with Iwe came as here. I think it's unnecessary. You took a hard decision. It's not called for. You shouldn't have confronted him. I was short of options and frustrated when I heard that the arrow came from his eyes. He doesn't have any reason to do such. If he doesn't want us to marry his daughter, he should have told us long ago. Igwe Kemizie is not a coward, is he? Uh, I knew that uh, I took a harsh decision. I hope you understand the frustration. But he will not unless you explain to him. I need you to bury your ego. Go to him. Explain things to him. Please. Please, my king. Huh? Jamazi, what exactly have I done to you? Why are you being so mean and wicked to me? You know I would never endorse your sadness, no matter the circumstance. Why are you doing this? My beloved sister, I am just saving you from future calamity. And I am old enough to know what I want. I know what I want for my future. Why wouldn't you just let me be? Trust me, you don't know what you are doing. You don't know what you are doing. You know what, I have talked to you like a sister should, but since you wouldn't listen to me, I would do exactly what I have in mind, and I just hope we don't all regret it. I won't take that as a threat, because I know you wouldn't dare, you wouldn't, else you would regret knowing me. Jamasi, what have I done to you? Why are you being so mean to me? I won't have this conversation with you again because I know exactly what to do. One more thing. Henceforth, I don't want to see you anywhere around that you can. Okay.
think you're too old for this? Drop that gun. You drop yours first. You mean you really have a gun under my roof? No. Point of correction. Under your father's roof. been in the streets long before you were born, so get that thing off my face. Before Abraham, Jesus was born. Mama can live with him Christianity. I want us to talk. My name is Zach Orji and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is you. You, Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Reaching Nolly TV.